at you. Get you, get comfy, baby. Come to me. Come to me. <laughs> Let me just put my legs right around you. <laughs> Why do we get stupid when the camera gets out like we want to do? Don't stop. I actually have a picture of it on my phone somewhere. But it's really cool. I was like kind of like standing up in a like kind of in the splits, and then a guy was kind of coming in and under. So it was really cool. So I was kind of like stretching out. It was really hot. Um, I like to start with a woman, but I like to finish with a man. Or she can just hang around, I don't care. But I'm kind of greedy with the cock. Um, I actually, you know, I complain about my, no, okay. I complain about my legs, but I do kind of like them. The back, eh, whatever, I don't really give a fuck. But I kind of like my my waist, it's, you know, it's flat. I have a flat stomach, so I'm proud of that. Well, I am still a licensed registered nurse for the uh, <laughs> state of Michigan. But um, I, looking back, I probably would have done something um, kids like maybe be a pediatrician or you know something I don't know something for kids I will I'll just have to kind of camouflage myself and you know throw my hair in a bun and wear my glasses and be I don't know no makeup so people don't recognize me but yeah I mean I have I'm lucky that I have something to fall back on so yeah special talents I I, I can actually play basketball if I take my nails off and um, yeah I was on a woman's league and then um, I don't want to go into detail, but I, I had to, my doctor said you have to stop playing because uh, being the MILF, whatever. And um, uh, so I couldn't play anymore, but um, yeah, I can play basketball. I still have a crossover. And I just know I had a scholarship to college though, um, but I got in trouble and um, I wasn't really attending practices. I got a little guy crazy. So yeah, so knock, 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 someone's at your door. And uh, yeah, it was my dad. So yeah, that didn't work out too well. So I came back home to community college and um, got humbled real quick. Um, basketball, and I love football. That's the best, like my favorite season is football season. So especially back home in Michigan, you bundle up, you go to a game, you know. Well, I see a few undercover, but I'm not at liberty to disclose. Honestly, I, I like a combination of both. Like I think Miami's beautiful, but it's like you kind of get used to what you like where you grew up and stuff and I kind of like that I like to I like to ski and snowboard even though I really suck at it but I like to go get my little flask go with my girls and have a good time so yeah I mean I like that kind of stuff um, daily if I can I know it's um, I mean most girls say oh I do it every day no I really do it every day and I think it and I didn't do it every day before but I think it's just like this year is my year I'm very last year I thought it was in my sexual peak but I'm um, very, very sexual, and I find myself being a little bit more outgoing even in public places, like picking up, like hitting on guys and trying to pick up guys just to see, like to fuck with them, you know? Um, I'm kind of that, I don't know, the female pervert, I guess. Oh, I think it's hot, absolutely. I mean, if I can, but I, you know, sometimes I think it's just more like the game, you know, the challenge of seeing like if they want to fuck, but here and there. I like women though craziest thing probably got a tattoo it's like my um, my face and then like over the shoulder with the booty you know my booty <laughs> more so my booty I think he focused more on my booty so it was kind of crazy I was um, yeah I don't know it was kind of flattering but a little bit crazy um, well like a few times in the airport like it's happened um, I try not to like you know like get done up like I am on film or whatever but um but yeah more so in my hometown too I think just because people in my hometown but here and there yeah and my it was so funny my sister's um, friend at work is like is that your sister and she's like yeah he's like is her name Kendra and she's like no and I just didn't want to embarrass her but I was like oh it was just kind of it's nice but I mean if I get noticed I do if I don't that's okay too as long as I'm shooting and you know doing what I like so fa my favorite part is just being able to um, fuck all kinds of you know random cock you know I think it's pretty great I get a variety and yeah, I mean, I love sex, so for me, like, the actual sex. The rest, I mean, the pictures and stuff, and whatever, but I just kind of want to get down to the sex, so I, I like that. New guy. I've actually, this is so dirty. My girlfriend, before we actually became friends, we were really attracted to each other, and this is so fucking, like, white trash. Oh my god, this is really fucking bad. Anyway, we were at um, a Tigers game downtown, and I was a little tipsy, she was too, and her and I went into, no, I can't even say it, into this um, bathroom type facility that is um, fucking, I don't even want to say it, but anyway, it's a very small cubicle type thing, and I basically stood up and she ate my pussy. 
definitely more in my personal life just because I have the freedom to do what I want when I want. You know, and this is not, I mean, it's, I, you know, you get some choices, I guess, and kind of what you're going to do, but, you know, there's, it, there's more rooms, I guess, um, with, with this, with it, um, with regular life. I can, like I said, I can do whatever I want. Oh God, there's a lot that I want to do. <sighs> okay. Well, and everybody thinks, oh, don't you ever do that. Like, I think a bukkake is fucking hot. I don't know why. I don't, I can't help it. I think that's crazy, hot, sexy, it fucking dirty, filthy, and I like that. It makes my pussy wet just thinking about that. Um, but I would like to do a DP, but I first have to get it inside my ass. I have a very tight ass. So um, I have to work on that a bit. So that's two, and a gangbang would be really fucking hot. Yeah. Oh yeah, because I pick their rates. I'm just like, hey, you know. Um, and even like some of the younger girls, they're more experienced. And that's okay. Like, I don't care. I'll, if, you know, there's somebody can help make something easier for me or whatever. But I like to do that. I think we should all like help each other out. Like, why make a girl suffer? You know, it just doesn't seem right. Hmm. Ah, uh, there's, um, I heard that Billy Glide is like really good. He's been around for a while. It'd be fun to work with him and maybe Tony Rivas. That would be cool. I <laughs> I would have to say, gosh, superhero. Who's, I guess I know it's boring to say Batman, but Superman was kind of hot. Because I like the nerdy side of guys too. Like I like a guy that can, you know, that he's somewhat, you know, you can hold a conversation with him. He has somewhat of an education and then he can get a little dirty too. So he can like turn you out and choke you and pull your hair in the bedroom and then just be normal. Well, I mean, other than the fact that I think I'll be a lifelong student, like I'm always taking classes online, it's, I'm, I don't know, whatever. I just feel like if you don't, I don't know, education is like something somebody can take away from you and it's just, you should constantly be growing. So I love the fucking hangover. They had, I could watch that over and over and over. And then I just watched Pain and Gain. Fucking hilarious if you haven't watched it. It was just, oh, it was so, and it's a, it's a true story too, which made it that much more fucked up. Oh, okay, yeah. Because if you're just gonna give me a big dick and not make me come, don't waste my fucking time. Um, if you're like average size and you know, you like to eat the pussy, and you don't even necessarily have to make me come that way, but if like you can lay it down, then you know, I'll take that over a big cock that just sits there and looks good, you know? So yeah, just, I like a man that works for his shit. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I don't particularly choose to swim in the, in the vicinity or like be around um, slightly. However, I'm never afraid to get wet. So, yeah, not really. Oh, fucking bang bros, okay? Are you crazy? Who else am I gonna say? You guys are awesome. Yeah, you guys spoil me and make my booty look so good. You oil it up. I love it. Take me to the beach and feed me. It's so good to me. Yeah. Woohoo!